May 26th. Um, driving around in this uh, box truck now, so I don't even really have a place to hold my camera anymore. Um, down in Laredo, Texas, on the border of Mexico. Um, you definitely see, you know, it don't feel right even. I mean, everything feels like... Uh, just feels like we're right on, like on thin ice. You know, like this place is getting ready to uh, just pop. You know, like it's over. That's what it feels like. You know, but I, I'm hoping, you know, I got this job. It'll last for a little while. You know, keep me busy, you know, until it's over. Yeah, he said I got to do like two weeks of training through this. Uh, traveling with them all over the place and then uh, he's going to cut me loose doing this. Which he said he's going to hook up like a refrigerator and a little microwave take this seat out over here where I can uh, see this is where I'll be sleeping like in the back of this thing. You see how it's got freight everywhere where you can put it back there? Kind of hard to see but it's dark. But there's a place back there to sleep. You gotta get the AC fixed in this thing. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It'll give me something to do, you know, even if it's just driving across the nation right now. But I just have a feeling, you know, I just have a feeling something bad's getting ready to happen. You know? Everybody can pretty much see what's going on. It just doesn't feel right. You know? And I guess it's because we know, you know, who Obama is, you know. We've all seen it on television. He's revealed himself. And even though he's done it, a lot of people just think that it's a joke. And they're going to find out later it's not a joke. And a lot of these people that are laughing now won't be laughing later. That's one of the visions that I had where I seen people laughing and laughing until their head, their skulls shrank in their mouth and the skull came out of their mouth. And, you know, I mean, these are, these are dreams, visions, where people are, are basically, they damn themselves, you know. But those of us that have been watching, we're, we're, we're covered, we're aware, of, we're watching what's been going on. You know, but I mean, it doesn't make it any easier, does it? But uh, with that being said, I'm going to cut this short just so I can upload it. I'm probably not going to make as many videotapes while I'm traveling like this with him uh, training because the hours, you know. I'll try to uh, get one in, but sometimes we drive like we drove all the way here, slept for about two, three hours, and uh, then it was like rush, 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 you know. And I'm like, man, I'd rather have just drove straight through than to sit there and try to take a nap and go through that. But it sounds like, yeah, you know, it's going to be a lot of driving like that. And then after I get my loads dropped off, I'll have a little time where I can do a video or, you know, unless something comes up where I get some insight on the road, something that I see that I can report, I'll be reporting it. You can be sure of that. I'm keeping my eyes wide open all the time, you know. And like I said, I'm hoping that the Lord led me to this because when this guy asked me about working, first thing he did was he saluted me. And 2 Corinthians says that all saints salute. Greet your brother with a holy kiss. And uh, you see, he keeps a Bible here. Yeah. He keeps a Bible on his front desk, too. So, I mean, that's the way the Holy Spirit works, you know. God bless you. Y'all be with the Holy Spirit. Keep the full armor of God on. And uh, remember... Even when it does go pop and it's ready to start, I believe, you know, the Lord controls time and stuff. So he, he can literally, well, these people are freaking out because they weren't watching and they weren't taking our, heed, our warnings. They'll experience the worst experience possible where time will stop for us and we'll probably have time to gather our thoughts and experience a beautiful thing rather than a nightmarish thing. I've seen how time can stop where he controls time. Like I said, one day or a day 
here to us, a thousand years to him is but, or to us is a day to him. You know what I mean? One day. So for him, it's only been like two days since he's been gone. It's a couple thousand years coming went here. He could slow time down a little bit to give us a little heads up. I believe that's what's going to happen to you. <coughs> but it's hotter than heck out here in uh, Laredo, Texas, man. We're right on the border. Here, this is the place where you don't want to make the wrong turn, where you have to go into Mexico. You know what I mean? You got to be very careful. But, uh, I'm seeing the same thing here. You know, you got people here with their purple, red hair, and all that stuff, you know. It's all the same everywhere you go. God bless you.